ready and go. All right, so I have two images here, and I'd love to call in a childhood game for a second and ask how to play Spot the Difference. Feel free to shout them out. <laughs> right, so you might have noticed the black gloves, the addition of accessories, or the change of the shoulder. But the most noticeable difference is that these photos were actually taken five years apart, but she's still wearing the same dress. Kate Middleton, Princess of Wales, is known to rewear, while also modernizing her red carpet looks. And I mean, if the Princess of Wales can rewear her clothes and be sustainable for so many years, why can't we? That's the thing, though. We can. As of right now, both garment workers and the environment are taking the fall for fast fashion practices. Garment workers are left in inhumane labor conditions and with poor pay, while well, the environment is left with copious amounts of synthetic fabrics, microplastics, and chemicals from dyeing processes. Well, fast fashion is a necessity for low-income families as a way to minimize the clothing gap. For those who can afford to be more mindful, must, as the current scale of fast fashion is huge, with $99 billion annually increasing at around 9%. However, we can counteract this harm and create our own wardrobe as we strive to reuse, mend, and create, which ultimately lead to individuality and self-identity. These simple applica applications of sustainability such as reusing, altering, and creating our own clothes. 85% of all garments end up in landfill, which roughly translates to 11.3 million tons of waste, which would be depressing knowledge, and don't get me wrong, it is. But I remain hopeful as so much of it isn't actually trash. We can learn what to do with it. Projects revolutionizing waste aren't new, but mainstreaming a mindset of reusing and, what, and valuing what already exists is vital. The easiest and most straightforward way to do this is through thrifting, which also keeps clothing out of landfills. It is important to note that this still isn't sustainable without intent, as overconsumption of any single thing is disastrous, even if it is overconsumption of the most sustainable option. From here, perhaps you have well-made clothes that are perfect to alter and mend, another great way to keep them in circulation. This can look like shortening thrifted pants, making a dress more fitted, or fixing a seam which for me always seems to pop up in my cathedral hoodies. But the good news is, is it's really easy to fix. As with just a single needle and spool of thread, that's under $5, you can save $45 on a new hoodie and make yourself that much more sustainable. It really is easy as that. From here, you can expand into fully reinventing garments, such as with denim, as the, denim, as the process is insanely water intensive, but creates a durable material that's perfect to alter and keep in use offsetting the environmental impacts of its creation. A project idea could look like patchworking together thrifted jeans into a new skirt, as I've done here. Um, the process of construction is slow and requires thoughtfulness, which increases the probability of a mindset change toward one valuing the quality and longevity of each item, which inherently makes you more sustainable. This applies to any form of creativity, whether it be sewing, knit, crochet, making a bracelet, or even commissioning someone else to do it. These are just some examples of how I've done this. Building on this, it's important to note that finding clothing that fits into your lifestyle and your aesthetic is far more important than the stereotyped basic neutrals ethical fashion is often associated with. Another example of how I put this into my life is making a dress out of curtains. From here, as we begin to see and understand the people behind what we wear, we begin to understand the brands in which we support and we can lower the disastrous consumption rates as we work to create a more sustainable lifestyle at both the individual level and the environmental level through reusing, re repurposing, and reducing our, and <laughs> through reusing, repurposing, and rekindling our natural creativity. We can all strive to find a lifestyle that works for, that best works for us all and emphasizes mindful consumption and practical applications of sustainability in order to create better garments today or tomorrow and long after that. Because really, circularity isn't just in the hands of fast fashion. It can start at home with us in our own wardrobes. Thank you for listening.